Welcome to the quick start guide for the 2D rigging toolbox 2.0. To get started, open the receipt email and click on the view content button. This will open the download page. Download the zip file and keep the page open as you will need it for registration. After extracting the zip file, you will find three folders, the illustrator extension, the Muhu menu script and the Muhu tool script. First, let's install the Illustrator extension. Drag the ZXP file into the ZXP installer. Give it a few seconds and it should install successfully. To install the Moho scripts, we have included an installation guide. Copy the files in the given path in your Moho custom content folder. If you aren't sure where your Moho custom content folder is, go to Moho Edit Preferences you should find the path to the custom content folder or you can create it if you haven't already. Now launch Illustrator to start using the extension. To load the extension, go to Window Extensions 2D Rigging Toolbox. Enter the email you used for the purchase and your license key from the Gumroad page. It's recommended to restart Illustrator after registration. Now you are ready to start rigging. The naming feature allows you to rename your layers by selecting the layer and clicking on the corresponding shape. You can also adjust and save naming templates for later use using the template tab. With the auto rig feature, all you have to do is assign the joints and the 2D rigging toolbox will use these data to create the skeleton in Moho. If you don't have a circle for a specific joint, just select two points or more and it will calculate the center between those points and place the joint there. After assigning the shapes, click on create joints the extension will create green and blue circles. By default, the joints will be placed accurately. However, if you need to adjust the pelvis, just move the pelvis joint. The neck joint will control the spine length, but it will not change the neck position in the x-axis. This step can be done in Illustrator or later in Moho. After you finish positioning the pelvis and neck, you need to prepare your character for Moho. Now all layers should be renamed and resized and ready to be exported. Choose your output directory. The easiest way instead of using the Windows browsing, just copy the folder path and paste it. Choose all layers if you want to export the whole character or if you edited a specific layers, you can select those layers and choose to export the selected layers. Now, open Moho and create a new project. It's important to import the new character in a new project to guarantee that the Autoreg script will work properly. Go to File, Import, Moho import layers on top of each other, so you will need to import the layers in a reversed order. Sort layers by name in descending order and select and drag from top to bottom. To start the rigging process, just click on the auto rig icon. The script created 39 bones parented correctly with IK legs and advanced arm and legs bones. If you want to create a simple rig, you can hide the advanced bones by going to Bones High Chai Bones. Now you can easily bind the layers and start animating. This is a simple rig, so I used layer binding for all body parts except for the pelvis to neck layer, I used point binding. In the next tutorial, we will talk about binding methods in Moho. I hope you found this useful. If you have any question, let us know in the comments. 
and don't forget to subscribe to get notified with our future tutorials. This is Motion Gears. Thank you.